everyone. This week's Attention Autism is going to be first, as always, is my black bag, isn't it? I've got things in my black bag. Bag. Next, following with our Chinese New Year theme, I thought I would do try and pick up some noodles with some chopsticks. <gasps> Hope I can do it. And then, after that, I'm going to show you some rice that I play with with my boys. And I'm going to drop it onto a, a glass and onto a saucepan and onto some spoons. And what else have I got? Oh, and I've got a bowl. And I'm going to show you rice drop. Oh, and this one is noodles. Noodles. If I can spell it properly. Noodles. Okay, so first is bag. I've got something in my bag, in my bag, in my bag. I've got something in my bag. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Ow! Oh! Eee! Ah! That's spiky! It's very spiky and it flashes. I'm going to bounce it. One, two, three, bounce. Whoa! I got, ow! I got it. Ow! Oh, it stopped flashing. More. One, two, three, bounce. Yahoo! Ow! Spiky. It flashed again. I can throw it up. One, two, three, up. Ah! And I caught it. Whoa, but I like bouncing it. Boing! <laughs> oh, it is very spiky. I'm going to put it back in the bag. Bye-bye, spiky ball. Next. Oh, I've got a chicken. And there's a chicken, or it's a rooster, in the great race story we're learning for Chinese New Year. Let me see what's inside. I can open it up. <gasps> what? There's another one! I'll put that on there. There's another one, orange and yellow. I'm going to open it up. <gasps> wow! There's, oops, <laughs> there's a little chick inside. I can't get it out. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> Don't fall over, chickens. I can build that one. There! <gasps> I've got a little chick. Yellow. It's got little orange claws and an orange beak. Let's stand that one on there. Whoa, look what's inside. If I build that there. It's a little one. Orange and green. And this one is winking with its eye. Can you wink? Close one eye. I think, oh, I can do it with both, look. Wow, he's winking. He goes on top. Is there one inside? Mm, no. But that makes the top of my tower. How many do we have? One two, three, four. Four chicks. I'm going to put them back inside. I'll take that off and put that one in and then put the lid on. Open this one. Oh, it doesn't bear. Open that one and put it inside. Now we've got the two left. Open the big one and put that inside. And then they're all hiding inside the big chicken. Bye bye chicken. Now what do I have? Let me look in my bag. Oh! A little plastic frog. Let me see if I can bounce it. Oh, it doesn't bounce on my floor. Hmm, what could I use? <gasps> Let me try the back of my board. Let's see. Push down here. One, two, three, go. Oh, well that wasn't very good either. Whoa, that was a good one. Did you see it did a flip? One, two, three, go frog. Woohoo! Back again. One, two, three, go. Flip. Oh, I need to try and get him to land on his feet. Oh, 
Come on, frog. Oh, no. He doesn't want to land on his feet. Yes, he did. But he fell off the board. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye, Mr. Frog. Now. Oh, it's upside down. Now, oof, my bag has finished. Next, noodles. Oh, I got my little boy this noodle game. It is a noodle game oh, for his birthday. I thought it'd be quite fun to show you. So, inside here, I've got some different coloured chopsticks. Green, yellow, blue and red. And I've got different coloured plates too. I think I'm going to choose the red plate and the yellow chopsticks. So what I need to do, oh, if I put these noodles back in the box, these noodles are all different lengths in here. So what I need to do, I need to use my chopsticks and see if I can pick some up. Let's have a look. Oh, I got one. I got one. Woo! And then I can put it on my plate. That's one. I'm going to have four bits of noodles. Two. Whoa. Three. That is a long one. Three. One more piece of noodle. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, there, four pieces of noodles. And the aim of this game when I brought it for my son was to see who had the longest noodle. So let's have a look. If I lay my noodles down, whoa, wow, can you see down here? This piece is the shortest piece. This piece is the longest. The longest and the shortest, look. There, that one finishes and this one is even longer. And I have two that are the same length, the same length. I've got lots of noodles. I'm going to pack it away and I can play it with my boys later. Put them in there. We always have to tidy up when we finish, don't we? That's it. And then close the noodle box like that. There. See if you can find some things that are bigger or smaller than something else. So noodles have finished. Now is rice drop. Now, this could get a little bit messy, but you know me. I don't mind making things messy. So, as always, I've got my shower curtain and I'm going to spread it out. So, watch out, everyone. Woo! Mm. Woo! Right, and I'm going to sit on top of it. Ooh! Like this. Now, I've chosen some things from my kitchen. I've got a lovely glass that Ellie brought me for Christmas. I'll put that there. I've got a blue plastic bowl, my saucepan, and some spoons. Like that. Oh, perhaps I could make those in a star shape. That's quite pretty. And lastly, I've got a baking tray. Okay, now, Oh, I've got a little bit of rice. My boys play with this rice. There's only a little bit in there. But anyway, so. Oh, it's so nice to play with. There it is. Putting our hands in. Right, so I'm going to pick some up in my hands. You see I've got some. And you need to turn your listening ears on. Are you ready? Listen. Can you hear it? That was the glass. Now I'll try the saucepan. Oh. 
Wow! And the baking tray. Oh, it sounds like it's raining. Ooh. Wow. And I'll try the plastic bowl. Oh, that makes a different noise. I wonder what noise it would make if I turned it over. Let's have a listen. Oh. Wow. And this one. I'm going to use try the spoons now. Hmm. They're not really making a noise. Let's see what happens if I hold them up. Because all we can hear, I think, is the noise of the, the shower curtain. Uh, maybe they wasn't very good, very good to use. But you know what they do make? Really good noises like this. Woo! So sometimes things don't work out. I wondered if they would make a good noise, and they don't really. No, not really. So my favourite noise, I think, is going to be this glass, I think. Let's have another listen. If I tip that out. Let's listen. Ready? I like that noise. Let's see if I lie it down. Oh, it makes a different noise laid down. So how about if I put all of my things on the one tray? I'm going to add my spoons, although I don't think they made a noise. Let me see now. Ready? I'm going to use two handfuls. Ready? Go! Ta-da! Whew! That was fun. Now normally, when I do number three, um, I normally have one of my boys to help me, but they're busy at the moment. But number three is when you join in, isn't it? Number one and two is when you're just looking, but number three is when you join in. So if you've got some rice at home, why don't you sprinkle it all over? Find some things from the kitchen, ask your grown-ups though. And if you've got a blanket or a, uh, a towel, put that on the floor first. Because I don't think your grown-ups would like the rice all over the floor or the table. So now it's quite easy for me to tidy up, isn't it? I just shake it all off. And then pick my bits up. I can tip the tray Ooh, straight in. And then my shower curtain, I can scoop, ooh, scoop my shower curtain like this. Or if you've got a towel at home, and then we tip it back in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops! It went all over the place. Well, most of it went in, but as I as I move this over there. It's wrinkled a little bit more. Don't worry, I'll tidy it up. So, oh, this has been a fun Chinese New Year attention lesson. Oh, now, rice has finished. Oh, and I hope you like my chopsticks in my hair too. Shall I take them out? So these are Chinese chopsticks. So you know I had these ones in here these sort. These are ones that are easier for littler hands for children. They're joined together and then you just have to pinch, pinch, pinch. But these ones, let me see if I can pick up a noodle. If I put some noodles on my plate, I can't really do it. Let's have a look. Ah! I did it. I'll put that one back in there. Right, let's see if I can, you have to still kind of pinch it like this, I think. Let's have a look. Oh, did you see them twist over? Ah! Oh, I got it, but only just. And then you tell um, 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 um. <laughs> Perhaps you could try. Um, what could you use? Two pencils? If you've got some pencils at home, put them in your fingers like this and see if you can pick up anything. I don't think I'll be able to do rice. Shall we have a go? Let's have a look. Oh, 
no, no. I think the rice. I think the rice needs to be cooked first, because then it, because that, then it gets a bit. No. Let me see if I can try with the smaller ones. <laughs> Did you see that? It jumped out. I've got a piece. Can you see? I've got one piece in there. <laughs> That's a bit hard. I think the rice should be cooked, and then it's um, bigger and fluffier, and then it'll be easier. So I'm going to put my chopsticks so that I don't lose them back in my hair like that okay have a lovely week everybody see you next week bye